for this PEMCAST, we will be drawing a plane based on its indices. Now for this top unit cell, we will be sketching the 1, 1, 1 plane. Now the first step in solving this is to choose the origin. Because there are no bars in the indices, the origin will remain at 0, 0, 0, which is right here. Now the next step in solving this is to change any bars in the indices to negatives. Because there are no bars in these indices, they will remain as 1, 1, 1. Now the next step is to find the intercepts by taking the reciprocals of these indices. So we will take 1 over the x indice, which is 1, and that will equal the x intercept 1. We will take 1 over the y indice, which is 1, and that will equal our y intercept 1. And we will take 1 over our z indice, which is 1, and that will equal our z intercept 1. Now the next step is to mark these intercepts on the unit cell. So we will start at our origin, and we will travel one unit in the positive x direction, which will place us right here. Now for our y intercept, we will go back to our origin, and we will travel one unit in the positive y direction, which will place us right here. And for our z intercept, we will again go back to the origin, and we will travel one unit in the positive z direction, which will place the intercept right here. Now the next step is to draw the face diagonals. So we will draw a line connecting the x and y intercepts along the face diagonal. Then we will draw a line connecting the y and z intercepts also along the face diagonal. And finally, we will draw a line connecting the z and x intercepts along another face diagonal. Now all that's left to do is shade in the plane, and you should see it beginning to take shape. And there you have it. That is how to sketch the 1, 1, 1 plane. Now for this bottom unit cell, we will be sketching the 1, bar 1, 1 plane. Now our first step in solving this is to choose the origin. Because there is a bar in the indice, we will have to move the origin in order to keep the plane within the unit cell. In order to do this, we will move the plane one unit in the direction of the bar. So our new origin will be 0, 1, 0, which will place us right here on the unit cell. Now we are going to call this new origin O prime, and to go along with this new origin, there will be a new X prime axis, a new Y prime axis, and a new Z prime axis. Now the next step is to change any bars in the indices to negatives. So 1 will remain as 1 because it does not have a bar. Bar 1 will become negative 1. And 1 will also remain as 1. Now the next step is to take the reciprocals of these indices. So we will take 1 over the x indice, which is 1. And that will give us our um, x-intercept, which is 1. We will take 1 over our y indice, which is negative 1. And that will give us our y-intercept, negative 1. And finally, we will take 1 over our z indice, which is 1 and that will give us our z-intercept 1. Now the next step is to mark these intercepts on the unit cell. So, starting at our new origin. Now our next step is to mark these intercepts on the unit cell with respect to the new origin. So for our x-intercept, we will start at our new origin and we will travel one unit in the positive x prime direction, which will place us right here. Now going uh, for our y-intercept, we will go back to our origin, and we will travel one unit in the negative y-prime direction, which will place us right here. And for our z-intercept, we will go back to our new origin, and we will travel one unit in the z-prime direction, which will place us right here. Now the next step is to draw the face diagonals to connect these intercepts. So I will draw a line connecting the x-prime intercept to the um, y-prime intercept. I will draw another line connecting the y prime intercept to the z prime intercept. And I will draw a final line connecting the z prime intercept to the x prime intercept. Now all that's left to do is shade in the plane. And you should see it beginning to take shape. And there you have it. That is how to draw the 1 bar 1 1 plane. If you have any further questions, make sure to check out our YouTube channel, Materials Concepts. Thanks for watching.